हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आर अलर्सन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विश यू ऑल अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑन दिस ऑस्पेशियस डे आई वुड लाइक टू लॉन्च अ न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल कॉल्ड साइंस कैप्स्यूल अ परफेक्ट सेल्फ लर्निंग टूल फॉर स्कूल चिल्ड्रन दिस चैनल इज बीइंग लॉन्च स्पेशली फॉर स्कूल चिल्ड्रन टू इंप्रूव द साइंस स्किल इन द स्टूडेंट्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ देयर स्कूल करिकुलम This channel is aiming at providing more interesting and informative videos so that your skill will be improved to a maximum extent. After watching each and every video, I assure you that you will get maximum benefit and will have confidence in learning science. This is my first video and in today's session we will be seeing the first chapter of class 10 science that is the chemical reactions and equations. This video is going to be very interesting and informative so watch till the end of this video and at the end if you are satisfied with the video then give a thumbs up and expand the learning process by sharing this video to your friends too. Dear students Science Capsule is always try to give you more such informative and innovative videos so for uninterrupted learning process through Science Capsule subscribe this channel by pressing on the large button which you see below the screen and don't forget to tap on the bell icon for notifications without wasting much time let us begin the chapter the chemical reactions and equations so in today's class we will be learning about the first chapter that is the chemical reactions and the equations before going to learn this chapter students you must have some basic skills basic knowledge what you have learned in class 9 in order to understand this chapter two important things need to be understood and make it clear so that you will understand this chapter well dear children this chapter is very very important as if you could not understand this chapter then remaining chemistry portions of class 10 won't be understood so care must be taken and enough grip must be made on this chapter so that the remaining portions will be understood very easily so in order to understand the first chapter you must have some basic knowledge what you have learned in class 9 children the basic knowledge of the chemical formula of various substances and what is a molecules of element and what is a molecule of compound these things must be understood and knowledge about valency and atomic number is equally important to learn the chemistry portions of class 10 let us recall all those things and have a grip on the basic knowledge which is very much essential to understand this chapter now we try to understand the concepts which are essential to understand the chapter dear children in the previous class in 9th standard you must have studied the molecules molecules are classified into two categories one is called molecules of elements and molecules of compound and most of the gases that exist in the universe are not independently available they exist in the form of molecules most of the gases are available in the nature in the form of diatomic molecules and knowing about the chemical formula of the molecules and the compounds are very much essential as these formulas will play in the first chapter and the coming chapters so how to write a chemical formula of various compounds that must be understood clearly as we know that most of the gases available in the nature are in the form of diatomic molecules for example when we talk about hydrogen hydrogen is written in the form of diatomic molecule as you can see here hydrogen is always written in the form of h2 
when we talk about oxygen we need to write its chemical formula as o2 as oxygen cannot exist in the nature independently they are available in the form of molecules of the elements so there are some molecules of elements and the chemical formula must be understood so that you can use all those formulas in the coming sections whenever we talk about a hydrogen independently it will not exist hydrogen needs to be written in the form of h2 oxygen is written in the form of o2 nitrogen is written in the form of n2 as you can see on the screen these are the way how these molecules are to be written when we talk about compounds we know that compounds are the one which is formed by the combination of two or more different atoms combined in a fixed ratio whenever we talk about fixed ratio the law of constant proportion should be recalled according to this law we learned that in a compound the relative number and kinds of atoms present in a compound are always fixed take an example when we talk about water when we talk about water then two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen is always be combined in a fixed ratio so whenever we talk about water it must have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen similarly when we talk about carbon dioxide here you can find that one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen is always in a fixed ratio so the chemical formula of all these compounds how to write that you have already learned in the 9th standard so having the idea of writing chemical formula of various compounds will help you to understand the first chapter so i believe that you understood and you know how chemical formula of various compounds and molecules of elements are written by this idea we will learn what is a chemical reaction dear children before going to learn about the chemical reactions we should know chemical change in the lower classes you must have studied physical change chemical change what is a physical change what is a chemical change let us take an example from this example we try to understand what is a chemical change firstly we have taken water the chemical formula of water is h2o and another example we have taken oxygen oxygen the chemical formula of oxygen is always written as o2 and thirdly we have taken hydrogen so hydrogen is written as h2 under suitable conditions when hydrogen and oxygen both are reacted together or both are combined then finally we will get water now you see oxygen is a molecule of element and hydrogen is a molecule of element in hydrogen molecule you will find two hydrogen atoms and in oxygen molecule you will see two oxygen atoms both the atoms are same kind we have three chemicals one is water another is hydrogen and the third one is oxygen if we compare the properties hydrogen have some properties oxygen have some other properties when hydrogen and oxygen both are combined under suitable condition they form water here water has one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen though they have hydrogen and oxygen atoms in it the properties of hydrogen and oxygen are not reflected in water molecule that means we can see a change in the properties so when hydrogen and oxygen two chemicals are combined under suitable conditions they form a new substance and the characteristic property of the new substance so called water is totally different from the properties of hydrogen and oxygen from which water molecule is formed so here in this case we can see a change in the properties and we can see a new substance is formed as a result of combination of hydrogen and oxygen molecules but the properties are not same such a change is known as chemical change we take another example when carbon is reacted with oxygen 
then carbon dioxide gas is formed when we see the properties of the carbon and oxygen we know that carbon is solid in nature and black in color whereas oxygen is colorless and it is a gas when oxygen reacts with carbon and under suitable temperature then carbon dioxide will be formed as a new product new substance when we compare the properties of carbon dioxide with that of the carbon and oxygen the properties are totally different here we can see a change in the substance or change in the property such a change is known as chemical change basically in a chemical change one or two atoms of a chemical substance combine with one or two atoms of a another chemical substance combine in a fixed ratio to give a new substance with totally new chemical properties such a change in which a new substance with new properties are formed is called chemical change and the process by which the transformation of chemical substances take place is known as chemical reaction or we can say that the phenomena under which a chemical change occurs is known as chemical reaction now i hope you understood what is a chemical change and what is a chemical reaction with the idea of what is a chemical change and what is a chemical reaction i would like to conclude today's video and in the next video we will be seeing how can we identify whether the change is a chemical change about that we will learn that session is going to be very very interesting and informative if you found this video helpful then like this channel and share as much as possible to your friends relatives and nears and dears if you are new to this video then subscribe this channel by clicking on subscribe button and don't forget to tap on the bell icon for notification your comments are valuable for me to improve myself to give good content to reach up to you so please comment on the video that's all in today's session see you all on the next video with interesting topics till then take good care of yourself bye